three loaves of bread. That was absolutely fantastic. Well, it still is. Steve's gonna make like that was just so unexpectedly warm. I knew the sea was warm still, but that's ridiculous. Like, I mean, certainly warmer in the water than it is out, and it was not a shock at all. Not a shock at all. So that was um, beautiful. So that's the morning showers. <laughs> We'll be back in May. It's, it's once in a lifetime. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do this in November again. So attempt one at getting Puppy to pee on the grass. He's interested. He's interested? But All right. not quite sure. Hmm? Interested? I should have that diaper in. Oh. Blech. <laughs> Just need more on the um, north side. It's a very calm night. A little, a little breeze coming in, but dog needed to go to the toilet, and um, and I had to clean the back end of the boat. It was just absolutely filthy. I'm sitting in the marina for a, whatever it was. You know, it was making me, giving me anxiety. <laughs> Go. It is Let's go. something AM. Happy birthday, Stevie. Oh, oh you blimmin's. Oh. <laughs> it's not bad. Come on, don't slip, no slipping, no slipping, no slipping. No, it's like yesterday. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Prepping to, um, okay, bye. <laughs> Prepping to get out of here. Uh, we've got about 30 hours of travel to go. Get down to Corfu. It should be good. It's time for a morning swim and um, get the dog to the beach. <laughs> so we anchored here in Shapanska Luka last night, um, which is great. 
Uh, it's always a nice, easy little anchorage. You, you, sometimes you get a little bit of wave coming from here, so it was a little bit sloppy, but otherwise it's all pretty good. Um, and now I've just gone in because Salt needed a wee, Dog needed a wee, so I just got on and anchored, anchored off the end because I didn't know how deep this was off here. I wanted to be very careful um, and being able to come in on the anchor and possibly if I needed to be further away, um, then I could put the plank down, but it's actually plenty deep enough, which is great. Um, also, it looks, ooh. oh, it's the same depth all the way around. So it looks like I could come alongside here or I could go stern two on here as well and Chapansky look at which is great. But anyway, this is the uh, the hop off point. We're gonna get on and we're gonna just gonna head to Greece now. We've got 200 miles to do. So, you know, that's like 30, 30 hours, something like that. Um, so it should be a lot of fun, but uh, yeah. Yeah, boat went really great last night. We had up to up to 30 knots, 32, oh, 33 at one point, I think. Hit a top speed of 10 point. What did we hit? 10.1 last night. 10.1 knots. Oh, it was just great. We were, we were quite heavily reefed down. We actually had quite a lot of mainsail out. Probably more than I sh No, not more than I should have. We could have had less and been just fine, but we were, we were moving. But we definitely got hit by some of the gusts, which was fun. Uh, and we just, yeah, beam reach, beam to close reach the whole way down. Close hold sometimes when it whipped off mountains, but all those catabatics coming off the hill, it was just, um, oh, it was so cool. And the moon, just, oh, it was all, it was all so, so, so cool. So that was, um, that was how it was. And it was a lot of fun. Anyway, I might go over and get a limonada um, at this cafe. We've got the generator going, we're charging, all this stuff. And, um, and then we're off. Once Sol gets back on, we're gone. So increasingly impressed as well because the um, I'm on the Starlink right now and I'm downloading at 35 to 45 megabytes per second, uploading at about 12. And it's right over there. Um, I estimate that at about 70 meters away um, on the back of the boat because the Starlink unit is all self-contained. So it's just a dish and then a power cable. And then that's the Wi-Fi um, uh, router and every, everything's in more. So the Wi-Fi signal comes straight out of it. And it's been doing really well. We were doing, we were in 30 knots of wind last night, doing nine knots and it was it was running absolutely perfectly. Um, and I hadn't aligned it to it because you gotta, got not you got to, but you can align it for a bit of signal. If you're on an anchorage or if you're tied to dock, you could spin it to get the right alignment. But I haven't done that once because we're on a boat and we keep moving. So I was quite impressed. Hey. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 All right. leaving Croatia. Uh, we had our 30 knot night last night which was great and about 25,000 times I kept on looking up at the Starlink going is that gonna fall off and I don't think it's gonna fall off otherwise I probably would have done something about it but anyway um, we thought we'll put a safety line on it and because we're going down the coast this way for 200 miles we can also orientate it the right way to the stars so I'm going to put the safety line on, which is consisting of a GoPro safety thingy. Ooh, where though? That's porous, that's flatter. Yeah. 
first set. Then I need to orientate it to the stars. So that orientation says I've got to go clockwise, right? I've got to go from west to north. So we've just created our log. Um, I've been looking to create a 45D log for everyone to be able to download and copy or whatever for the stuff that we write down. But um, effectively, it's, it's any information you want or you find good. We always do a paper log or a, a separate copy to all the boat so that if we indeed lose power or all that sort of stuff, that it's like, right, well actually we can, we can, we've got paper charts, we can chart ourselves, we, we're, we're all good. So and the other thing I just did with a BNG, it's just set up an entire page of what we're going to use and as the log goes so that we can just simply go to save um, if we're out at home wherever we might be in our radar view or whatever we're doing um, and you go right it's going to be it's log time so you go here you go to inst whoops not race you go to instruments and dashboard number eight because you can have different dashboards has got all of this information in uh, order. So first thing we're doing is the date and the time. Then we're doing our course over ground, and then the trip, and then the wind direction, and the speed, and then the voltage supply to the batteries, and then the heading. Uh, actually, I just left that up, we don't use that. But boat speed, position, um, and then I just added extra stuff here. This is actually my fuel efficiency here. All right, so um, 3.7, 3.9 liters per hour, um, 1.2 miles per liter. Um, and then I've just got VMT there for fun. So we'll get set up on our watches. We're taking a log every hour, because as I said, it keeps you very aware of the changing conditions or the not changing conditions or whatever it is. We're starting our watches now because we've got probably 24 hours, 24 more hours to go to get to Greece, to Corfu. And, um, and I want to land. I want to land in hours of daylight um, instead of darkness. So let's go. Smile like you're on the coast of Albania. We've definitely made landfall. We've got Albania on the port side um, and Corfu just coming up in front of us with uh, some of these other islands. I don't know their names yet. I'm still learning island names. Um, but yeah, we're probably four hours away, something like that, three hours away from, from Corfu Harbour, uh, which is great. We made, made pretty good time. Um, we've sailed at least half of the journey, which considering the light winds, and the direction is good, but now it's just kind of, it's head to, head to wind, so. 
just charge the batteries. I'll use that as an excuse. Um, yeah, everyone's a bit tired, so I'll uh, we'll just get there. Otherwise, we'll, if we tacked our way into this right now, we'd add another three hours on, two and a half hours on or something when we get into midnight. So, um, yeah, I think we'll just burn a bit of diesel for this last stretch. Anyway, it's, um, it's looking good. It's looking good. Managing to get some work done. Getting the top pit. When the sun came out and shone on our backs, it was too warm. <laughs> it's gone chillier now, so I've put a few layers on, but uh, it's really nice. And uh, the Starlink's been, the Starlink's works basically seamlessly, so um, I'll do an update on the Starlink, do a proper video on the Starlink and share, share how that all went. Should you tell them with some of that soft cheese, little balsamic? Little balsamic. Little balsamic. Yeah. He did it! Stevie, can you undo that side? Salty dog! Hey! Hey! Yay! You're a boat sh now! And that's it. We're here. No. We're anchored. 2000 RPM in reverse, 60 meters of chain, ultra anchor. That was great. That just dug in. It didn't even think about moving. Um, snub. And then right as the rain starts. And Salty's peed. No poo. No poo. Did you poop? I could probably try. Go. <laughs> Time for our. Um, let me guess. Time for a wine. Time for the wine. And a gin. Hoppa. Okay, bye. So docked now in Marina de Martin, Guavia, Guavia. I've got to learn how to say everything. Um, and right before the squall came in, it's sort of the squalls and the rain is setting in now for the day. One of the reasons we said we were going to come in, we've got some work to do and all this sort of stuff. So we've just gotten all washed down. Yes, I know it's raining, but we washed the stuff down so that when uh, the rain comes, it does an extra wash, but you've got to get all the crap off. Anchor was great last night. So big happiness on the um, Ultra. And it was a really easy night, so it wasn't exactly working hard. Now, I'm just so thankful for all of these covers that we've got, because it makes this area so cozy. Um, what I don't have is this, this gap is usually absolutely fine, except for the weather is coming from astern, which is not normal at anchor or whatever, but at the marina here, I've just put up one of our 45 details to um, just stop it getting on the console and getting further into the, into the boat and getting all this wet, but whatever, so. That will be something I'll look at upgrading, getting another panel. That because I don't want that. I want that gap open while we're sailing. This works really well for sailing, and especially at night. But um, uh, but I'll I'll work on getting another panel that'll cover that and make it all covered in for for the winters. But just getting a bit tidied up and organised. I've got to make a new bridle for the dinghy. Um, got to get a Greek flag. Got to got to do a bunch of stuff. But it's really cosy. Come downstairs. It's very cosy. Oh, I love this boat. And um, yeah, I've made a bit of a mess over here. I'll put that back together. But this is the office set up at the moment. So got spare monitors from Meredith and Jacob, which is great, and a riser. Working on this vertical mouse thing to um, help my hand while I'm editing, and I'll see how that how that goes. Uh, but all in all, I'm pretty chuffed about the boat, and and it's it's cool to be down here. I really miss the family. Oh, I can't say it, or I get really I can't say it, but I get really. Emotional. Um, I miss Mahina. I miss baby. I miss it. Okura. Um, oh, yeah. Anyway, 
that's us. So we're in Greece. It's been great. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated as soon as anything interesting happens, basically. So if you want to keep seeing these daily vlogs, what we're up to, I've got a couple of jobs to do on the mast here. These packers have fallen out and there's bits and pieces around that I'm doing and I'll, I'll vlog a bit of that stuff. But um, keep in touch, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. And this is our month in Greece. Yeah, but there's no reason to quit. I don't. Okay, we have operated. <laughs> it looks better than it did. This is how it looked. I forgot to take a photo of us putting it back together. Oh well. Go plug it in. C <laughs> <laughs> zone control monitor. C zone control monitor. Winning. Winning. Yay! I'm an electrician now. <laughs> I've passed my electrician course and didn't die. No, dear. Something I never do. Lock my boat. Um, but now it's locked. I'm going to go out and get some dinner, get some lunch, get some food, whatever it is. George's Garden. The lone baklava that we're sharing between four. <laughs> Love a bit of classic humor. <laughs> so that was my first Greek meal in Greece and it was delicious. Um, it was, it was simple and it was delicious and it was yummy and I'm quite happy, quite happy to have had it. God, I just, I miss my family. That's what we said about Mahina and I not getting to explore new places together and I'd love to be able to explore this with her. It just wasn't on the cards this time. So maybe in the future, but um, yeah. Looks like it's clearing a little bit and it's gonna rain again tomorrow. Overnight.